Despicable Me, 14. Four, the Minions Strike Back. Chapter One, A Quiet Life Upended. The sun dappled through the leaves, casting playful shadows on the Gru residence. It was a serene morning, the kind that hinted at the idyllic life the once infamous supervillain had carved for himself. Gru, in his signature gray suit, was tinkering with a peculiar looking contraption in his garage, while Lucy, his ever supportive wife, was busy in the kitchen, the aroma of freshly baked muffins filling the air. Their three adopted daughters, Margot, Edith, and Agnes, were engaged in their own pursuits. Margot, the eldest, was buried in a book, her expression lost in a world of words. Edith, the middle child, was tinkering with a homemade robot in her room, a constant stream of excited exclamations escaping her lips. And Agnes, the youngest, was in her unicorn-themed bedroom, her imagination running wild as she played with her stuffed animals. The peace of the morning was shattered by a piercing alarm. Lucy rushed into the garage, her face etched with concern. Gru, we've got a problem, she exclaimed, her voice filled with urgency. On the large screen, a news report flashed, showing chaotic scenes from around the world. People were inexplicably losing their sense of humor, their faces devoid of joy. Laughter, it seemed, was disappearing from the planet. It's as if someone has stolen the world's happiness, Lucy said, her voice trembling slightly. The AVL needs your help, Gru. Gru, his brow furrowed in concentration, studied the screen. This is not a joke, he muttered, his mind racing. Something big is going on here. Chapter 2. The Mysterious Dr. Nefarious Meanwhile, in a hidden underground lair, a man with a wild mane of white hair and a maniacal glint in his eyes watched the news with satisfaction. This was Dr. Nefarious, a brilliant but twisted scientist with a penchant for world domination. His creation, the nanominions, tiny, hyper-intelligent creatures, were the key to his sinister plan. Nefarious had discovered that laughter was a powerful energy source, capable of fueling his world domination machine. By draining the world of its joy, he could harness this energy and become the ultimate ruler. As the nano minions scurried about their tasks, Nefarious stroked his white beard, a sinister smile playing on his lips. Soon, the world will be mine, he proclaimed, his voice echoing through the cavernous chamber. Chapter 3 The Minions and the Nano Minions. In a parallel universe, the Minions, as ever, were oblivious to the world's troubles. They were busy causing chaos in their own unique way when they accidentally stumbled upon a hidden entrance to Dr. Nefarious's lair. Inside, they were greeted by a horde of tiny blue creatures that looked strikingly similar to themselves. The Nano Minions, mistaking the larger Minions for their own kind, welcomed them with open arms. A chaotic alliance was formed, with the Minions and Nano Minions engaging in a series of hilarious misadventures. While the Minions were focused on their usual antics, the Nano Minions, under the influence of their creator, were subtly spreading gloom and despair. Chapter 4 A Family Affair Gru, Lucy, and their daughters were soon on the trail of Dr. Nefarious. Their journey took them from the bustling streets of Tokyo, where they encountered a culture shock, to the frozen tundra of Antarctica, where they faced the harsh realities of a polar expedition. Margot, with her sharp mind, was in charge of research, poring over data and cracking codes. Edith, with her mechanical genius, created gadgets to aid their mission. And Agnes, with her childlike innocence, provided an unexpected source of strength and inspiration. As they got closer to Nefarious's lair, the stakes grew higher. The world was losing its laughter at an alarming rate, and people were becoming increasingly despondent. The pressure was mounting on Gru and his family to stop the mad scientist before it was too late. 
Chapter 5, The Final Showdown. The confrontation with Dr. Nefarious was inevitable. In a climactic battle filled with explosions, gadgets, and minion mayhem, Gru and his family faced off against the evil scientist and his army of nano-minions. With the help of the minions and their newfound allies, the nano-minions, who had begun to question their role in Nefarious's plan, Gru managed to defeat the villain and destroy his world domination machine. Laughter erupted across the globe as the effects of Nefarious's device reversed. People were once again filled with joy, and the world breathed a sigh of relief. As the sun rose over a restored world, Gru and his family stood together, their bond stronger than ever. The minions and nano-minions, having learned the value of friendship and cooperation, decided to stay together, creating a larger, more chaotic, but ultimately lovable family. And so, the adventure ended with the promise of new challenges 